Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we are bringing summer into this makeup look. Like this is just like the perfect look for summer. I thought I would just do a really easy, colourful, smoky eye. It doesn't take too long. Only using one palette and then a nice bright bold lip. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. <laughs> To start off the look, as always, we are priming. I just got a new Fenty Pro Filter Primer, Living. So I literally go through this stuff like crazy. It is my absolute favorite, really nice and hydrating. Little bit mattifying, but also um, makes your makeup last as well. So it's just an all-in-one primer for me. And then I'm doing a little mix of foundation today. I wanted a little bit of glow, so I'm using the Face Glow Foundation from Natasha Denona and mixing it in with my Oma Foundation just to give it that long-lasting property as well. And just blending that out with my damp sponge from Morphe. Then I'm going in and cream um, bronzing. So using the Tantor from Huda Beauty in the shade light and I'm just going in and now I know it looks like a lot that I'm pop like that I'm putting on but once you blend it out it blends like a dream and it just lasts so well and to be honest you don't even need to set it with another bronzer um, and you don't lose that pigment as you're kind of putting the rest of your makeup on if that makes sense I know like for me a lot of cream bronzers just aren't pigmented enough but this is like just the right amount where you can't go too too crazy um, but you just get that really nice kind of bronzed and contoured look I'm really loving a kind of nice kind of bronzy look rather than super like contoured and cut because I feel like that's just more of like a summer vibe like when you're actually getting a natural tan if that makes sense but we do need to make sure that we cut that jawline just a little bit you know give us them angles and then for my nose I've been doing this like every time I've done my makeup and I'm loving it so although it looks really intense I'm taking the uh what is this beautiful bronze uh concealer from LA Girl and I'm putting two lines down the sides of my nose. I'm shading in the bottom of my nose as well to give it that lift. And it looks mental, but you basically leave it like this and then move on to your concealer. So I'm taking my Oma Stay Woke Concealer because it is the dream. You don't get any creasing, it's really pigmented. Um, it, it's just amazing and it doesn't let my oils come through too much. So I'm popping that everywhere that I normally would and just continuing to blend with that damp sponge. And now, as you can see, I have just left that nose contour chill in there for a minute, but it's absolutely fine because all I do is lightly blend over with the excess concealer and it gives you a really nice natural kind of soft nose contour, which I'm loving. It's actually a trick from Carly Bible. And then to set everything, I'm taking my Fenty Pro Filter Setting Powder in the shade Butter. Oh, this is the absolute dream. I can't believe I stopped using it. It's so good, literally like a filter for your face. I'm just popping that in all the areas we just concealed and then I do go in with the sponge and a little bit of the powder just to lightly set the rest of my face because I don't want it to be too powdery on the rest of my face because I'm going in with other products. And then I always, always um, bake my nose, like the sides of my nose because that's where I get super, super oily and I just, doesn't, I just don't think it looks cute. If I get a bit oily anywhere else in my face, it's not so bad, but just not there. And then dipping into my Fenty Shady Biz bronzer, I am just going over that cream bronzer. As you can see, I don't really need much of it. I'm just doing like a little light layer just for a little summit summit to make sure that it all stays in place, especially during summertime because you just want everything to stay put even when it's like hot and humid. And then I drag some of that down my neck as well because I want um, my face obviously to match my body. My body is generally more tan than my face anyway. And then I just lightly, very, very lightly um, go over with a bit of bronzer down that nose contour as well. And then for eyes, I'm taking one palette today, and that is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Armed and Gorgeous palette. Oh, this is so, so pretty. I really wanted to go for the orangey vibes today. So I'm first taking Access, which is the yellow shade. I'm on my Zoeva fluffy brush and popping that into the crease. Honestly, this is the easiest eye look ever. I'm being super messy, chucking it in the crease, little windscreen wiper motions and little kind of sweeping motions just to blend that uh, and diffuse it nicely. Then I'm going in with the shade Agent, which is... Um, more of a kind of yellowy orange shade switching up the brush to something a little bit denser just to be a bit more precise And I'm popping this in the lower portion of the crease to blend nicely into that yellow And then lastly I'm taking secure which is that deep orange shade and I'm packing that and blending on the lid So I pack it down and then blend it into that agent shade as well So it kind of fades up nicely into that crease and I always make sure to go back with my fluffy brush No extra product, but just to blend all of those shades nicely together and then I take a little bit of Prowl, the kind of mixed Prowl and Smooth Criminal, the brown shades, and I put that um, with a 
flat shaded brush really really close to my lower lash line just to give a little bit of dimension there and then just going back and forth to make sure it's blended nicely now as you can see I'm really pissed off because I did a nice little close-up situation on my other eye and it just didn't um, film which was great so I just quickly did my lower lash line and popping on the lashes I'm going with my Arica lashes from Lily Lashes which are so so nice and they look so beautiful with a nice smoky eye and it really makes it look like you've made so much effort with your eyeshadow when in reality it didn't take any time at all and then I'm going to take my 3D highlight, highlight palette from Huda Beauty and this is the Golden Sands um, Golden Sands one I think and I'm taking the two gold shades obviously and taking that on my cheekbones I didn't bother spraying my face because these are pretty intense anyway, so oh, it just looks so dreamy, like perfect for a nice summery golden look. It literally looks like you're just in golden hour, but all day, you know, that's what we like. Taking it in all the usual places and down my nose, and I add that to my inner corner as well because you always need a little pop in the inner corner. And then for blush, I'm taking the California blush from Benefit, which is a beautiful coral blush and I thought would tie quite nicely with the eyes. Um, it's got that little bit of pink, that little bit of orange as well, and it smells like tropical drinks, it's amazing. And then for my lips, I couldn't decide which one I wanted to go for. I had the choice of either the Fenty Mademoiselle in Dragon Mummy or Saucy. And I decided that I would go with Dragon Mummy. I can't even say it in the accent. I'm not sure Rihanna says it much nicer than me, but you get what I mean. But it's this beautiful, like bold coral. It's kind of a bit red, kind of a bit pink. I don't know, I just thought it looked so nice with this look. And these are so pigmented, honestly, with one swipe, it's unbelievable. And they stay put, I was eating and drinking today, and honestly, you don't get the butthole lip, like it's just amazing, and they're really comfortable as well. So I can't say enough good things about these. And then I thought I would just take um the orange shade in my Fenty, what is this, Kilowatt highlighter. So it's Mimosa Sunrise, and I'm just adding that kind of to the inner portion of the lid and uh, on the lower lash line as well to give a little extra something. And then lastly, obviously, we need to set our makeup. So um, I decided to use the Dewy Set from Anastasia to finish off this look. And now you can see this is the finished look. I really hope that you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. We're getting into summer, we're getting the colourful... Uh, smoky eyes out, we're getting the bold lips out, I'm here for it. Um, and if you did like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up and comment down below any of your favourite summer looks. And all of the products today will be listed down there as well. But apart from that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!